What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, I'm actually excited for this vlog. I've been wanting to film this for so long. I've kind of just been waiting um, for a certain thing. So, okay, basically, stop rambling. Um, it is a propagation video. Today we're going to go through um, how I personally propagate um, chain of hearts, variegated and normal. Um, so yeah, pretty much that's it. We're gonna we're gonna do some propagating. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that for so long with this guy. This is my variegated chain of hearts, which is really really beautiful really long as you can tell um i basically i just want to give it a bit of a haircut <laughs> as you will um and yeah just propagate it a little bit more um and you know maybe stick a few back into the top of the pot um and i kind of want to share this plant around with like my friends and family as well so that's what we're going to do um, so what I was waiting for was I've been planning on purchasing um, a regular chain of hearts, um, which I did uh, last week um, from the plant room at Taz where I work. So everything again will be linked in the description. Um, so go check them out. But yes, that's besides the point. Um, the plant is inside my parents' house, so I've already kind of taken a snip sip to them <laughs> but yeah it's a really really beautiful plant um I used to actually have both of these um like a year ago and I sold them and I regret it to this day so I'm very glad I have them both in my possession again so this is the normal one really beautiful and green so luscious. This is two strands I took, um, but they're tangled. So we're gonna we're gonna do with that later. <laughs> anyway, so things you're going to need. You're going to need some tubs. I'm just using. I guess you could call them Tupperware. They're not technically Tupperware, but any type of plastic clear tubs. Um, I like to keep them fairly shallow, like not too thick. These ones are a little bit thicker, but that's, that's fine. Whatever. You will need some snip sips, some scissors. I'm using children's scissors because I found them and now I use them for propagating. And of course, my personal favorite for propagating chain of hearts is sphagnum moss. So we're going to use that today. This has already been pre-moistened. I've just popped a little water in there. Um, it's quite wet, so I'm going to be um, squeezing it to wring out some of the water. But yes, you're going to need some of that. And yeah, of course, you're going to need your cutting. So I've already got these guys all sorted. So I think now I will chop um, some from this guy for you. Um, I think I'll just do like a whole strand, but they're kind of tangled at the moment, so we need to untangle them so I can see what strand I want. I think that one would be good. It's nice and chunky over here. Come on. Be good. Oh, so there's two strands attached to this one. So this is what happens when you propagate. A new strand or chain, sorry, starts from where you cut. So this is one and it's turned into two now. So I think that all looks really nice. So let's come up a bit further and let's go up here because there's a new strand that started there. So we're just going to chop it in between the chains like so. This is what we have to work with. So pretty, so beautiful. I think that's gonna do. I don't wanna go too crazy because it does still look really nice. We're here. Again, you're not gonna see my face, but you'll just have to live with that. 
So, I've got my tub ready. I'm going to now put some moss in it. You don't have to go too crazy. Just enough to like cover the bottom of it. Um, again, I'm wringing out some of it, not like all of it, because it's actually not too bad. Not as bad as I thought it was. I thought it would be a lot more um, wet than this. I think that'll do. Oh, you want to go a bit more? Maybe a little bit more. I'm just being fussy. Alright. That's gonna do. We make a mess. Okay, so that's kind of where it's filled to at the moment. Pretty, pretty simple. Um, okay, so. I feel like I say, okay, so a lot. Uh, we're going to start with the variegated ones because that's mainly like what I wanted to do. I'm just going to put this aside for a second. So, I'm going to be doing what I have heard has been called the butterfly method. So, basically what it is, um, I will show you on camera. You get two leaves on the chain um, and they come out of the same growth point. I don't know if you can see that. So basically the butterfly is when you cut in between each of these um, hearts and that basically becomes the butterfly method. So I will show you. So basically you want to cut in between two of the um, hearts. I'm going to come back a little bit further though because I don't want the strings to be too big. So basically you want to cut it there and that gives you your little butterfly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the rest of them. I will be chopping a little bit oop, of the stem off as you can see. So basically this is what you want to do for as many as you like. Um, you can leave a little bit of a strand if you want, which I might actually do, to be honest, and see how it goes, because I've never done that before. Um, like this one, I might leave a little bit of a strand, because they're getting a bit smaller, maybe. I might cut you for now. Yeah, these ones are getting a little bit smaller, so I'm just going to chop it here. And then I will start the propagation from this one here, and it just is going to have a little strand on it. Okie dokie, next ones. Yeah, it's so basically you just want to keep doing this until you don't really have any more left. That's an extra one, we don't need that. I have had great success with the butterfly propagation method um, and I've kind of just been sticking to that since I started caring for these guys well, when I first got them a couple of years ago which obviously you guys know I don't have them anymore all right this might be too much for one tub but we're just gonna see how we go I might make up this little baby one as well but we'll see um right so once you've got your little butterflies basically what you want to do is you want this little part underneath the leaves you want this whole section here you want that to be touching the moss is like basically what you want to do so i'm just gonna kind of poke it in there like so and that's literally what you do you just kind of sit them on top poke them down a bit so that the under sides are touching the moss and yeah it's like literally that easy like not even kidding 
Break it down. And basically you just want to keep going until there are none left. That. Do I want that one on there? No, I might do that in the little one. But I might actually have enough room. Who knows? I might honestly have enough room. Or not. Maybe I might spread them. <laughs> this is a dilemma I go through all the time. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, well, I'll pop you in here. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that like so. There we go. And basically that's like literally it. I'm going to pop some in here and we're going to do a little bit more. Another variegated one. This is like a cute little baby one. This will be a cute gift. All right. Now these ones are kind of interesting because I already have like another bit growing off it but I still think it'll work just as long as that little bottom piece is hitting the moss I think it should be fine now this was the one I was gonna um keep one strand but I'm not going to anymore I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna cut it there Cut it there, and then I might leave that bit that can sit in the moss as well, like that. Oh, these are gonna look so good once they grow in. Yeah, it's also a good idea once you've kind of got these guys sorted. Every, you know, week or so when you come to check on it, or even when you, like, are um, re-wetting the moss, is to actually just keep pressing them down. Just making sure that those bottom pieces are touching the moss. And, yeah, it's pretty, pretty easy. These are our two variegated ones. Just very, very cute. I'm going to put them aside for now. Um, and now we're going to work on the normal ones, which there's lots of. I definitely need to, um, oh, I did it. There we go, two strands. So, again, exactly the same, um, method for these guys. Um, you just want to chop in between the chains. Oh, I might keep that strand on there. Oh, there's a strand there too. All right. I'll chop you there and keep you over there too. There we go. I kind of like it that they call it the butterfly method. I feel like that's really cool. For us. So right. I'm going to do this one. Or do I split it? No, I won't. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm so indecisive sometimes. I don't quite understand why. But anyway. Anyway. So again, we're chucking some moss in. This tub is a little bit taller than the other one, so a little bit more has to go in here. But that's okay. Yep, that looks good. Um, okie dokie. So, I think... Oh, this is... I don't know what to do. Let's do the single ones first. Kind of... Chuck them in there. I think I just... I love how simple this is just nice and simple and very very easy 
in my non-professional opinion. <laughs> oh, golly gosh. And I can just like, this one's basically just like a stick so that can just like go over there. So now we have some with strands on them, which is cool. So let's dig those in. And I do feel we're gonna need another box. That's okay, we'll find one somewhere. We shall find one somewhere. But hopefully this works and looks beautiful and I can, you know, share the love with, you know, my family and friends or, you know, other planty people. It's pretty much the only reason why I do it. That's not okay. Get in there. Alright, I think that's going to have to do. How many do I have left? No, nah, I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. I can fit them in. I've got two more. This is definitely more full than the other one, but that's okay. It'll still look amazing once it grows in. Come on. Find a spot and sit there. That's not a good spot. There. There we go. There's our other one. Looking good, looking good. I kind of like how it's all just like hanging out. <laughs> anyway, that's that done. I'm going to change angles again and show you where I'm going to put them. Okay. <laughs> hey. Um... So I've mentioned in a previous vlog, I think it's the the one before this one or not. Yes, it is the one before this one um, that I was going to be getting a heat mat for my propagations, um, mainly my philodendron varicosum cutting, which actually that's the vlog. I think I mentioned it. Um, so yes, it arrived and I actually think a lot of these propagations are doing really well. So that's like, that's beside the point. But this is something different to what I have done in the past because I've never actually owned a heat mat before or tried a heat mat. Um, but I'm thinking of putting the chain of heart propagations on here. So I kind of just need to maneuver things a little bit. I'm going to pop this back where it belongs. So yes, these are our little things. I'm just going to place them at the front here. And I'll see how they go. Um, if I think they're getting too warm or just aren't happy, obviously I'm going to move them. But for now, that's, that's where they're going to live. And I'm okay with that. I'll give you another shot of them. In a second. <laughs> so here are the little babies, the propagations. They look really good under the grey light, I must say. Very, very nice. So yeah, hopefully these all start growing some new roots and some new shoots like these. And um, yeah. So yeah, that's basically it for the propagation of Chain of Hearts. Um, they're pretty much just gonna stay like that um, until they have grown sufficient roots. Um, you should start to see the roots um, forming at the bottom and you should also have some new um, chains coming out of the little butterflies as well. Um, you want to keep the moss fairly moist, not like soaking wet, but not bone dry. A nice happy medium and they will love it. 
Um, I know for a fact I'm going to have to water these like once a week or something um, because they are on the heat mat so they are going to dry out a lot more but that's that's fine but yeah that's pretty much it for this funky guys <laughs> um yeah let's hope they do well I think they will like I said I have done it before um and I've had very good success with it so well it's, it, the only difference is the heat mat so we'll just see how that goes um but yeah that's it if you guys have any questions about uh this kind of propagation method or any questions about whatever i've done in this vlog please comment below make sure you like this video if you had a good time watching it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already that would be amazing and i will see you in my next one bye